Hello everyone, welcome back to chapel or not too far away until we will be back together again in person. So that's super awesome. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, today or this week, we have a very short message for you and actually it's meant to be very interactive, okay? So I'm gonna briefly go through the story of Joseph. Um, and so if you are gonna read this, you it could kind of be a lot of reading. Um, it starts in the book of Genesis chapter 37 and kind of goes all the way up until chapter 50. So 37 to 50, it can be a lot. I'm just going to summarize some things and we're going to be piggybacking off of the story that we heard last week about Moses um, and just redemption as kind of the, the theme if you want to take it there. So you're able to see this message. If you haven't been watching it, you can find it on Instagram, you can find it on YouTube, and you can find it on Facebook. Um, so you can always check it out there. And obviously we want to know how you guys are um, receiving the message, what you're hearing from the Lord. Hopefully this is encouraging. Hopefully as a family you're able to sit down um, and you're growing in your faith. So I just want to pray real quick and then we'll get started. Lord, thank you for uh, chapel. Thank you for the story of Joseph and redemption and how you love us and how you're with us. God, I pray that you would speak to us. Um, and Lord, may we be encouraged um, by this word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so where it begins in chapter 37, just really, really quick. Um, Joseph is very favored because he is the last born son to his father, Jacob. Um, and it says in the text that Jacob is... Uh, loves Joseph so much because he was born to him at a very old age. And so that means that his brothers were actually quite jealous. And so chapter 37 starts by saying that Joseph had a dream. And that dream is Joseph basically standing and his brothers, including his father, are bowing down and kind of worshiping him. Um, and so that just feeds into this jealousy that Joseph's brother, brothers have for him. Um, and so later on in the next chapter, or in a few chapters later, uh, his brothers, Joseph's brothers, are planning to kill him. Uh, and obviously that's murder, it's a big deal, and this is their brother. So this is, this is a very, very big deal, and it's all out of jealousy, you guys. Um, and so Reuben decides, hey, I want to fight for Joseph just a little bit. Let's not kill him, let's just throw him in a pit. And uh, we'll just tell, we'll tell our father that he was attacked by a, a vicious animal. And, you know, he's gone. That's the story we'll tell. So, uh, like I said, a few chapters later, um, they throw him into a pit and he's there. And while he's in the pit, they decide, hey, we're hungry, let's eat. And so while Joseph is in a pit, they're having a meal and they're talking, whatever. And then they see these Egyptians coming by and they say, you know what? We can actually make money off of our brother. Let's sell him as a slave. Let's do that instead of killing him. And then we can still go along and say that he was killed by a wild animal uh, and our father will never know and we'll, we won't get in trouble, trouble and we'll have all this money. Uh, and so that's exactly what they do. They end up selling Joseph as a slave and Joseph is on his way to Egypt. And so you think, what is going on? This is crazy. It's all starting from jealousy. Um, and here's the, the, the kind of the part where redemption comes in. Um, and it's twofold, all right? For number one, Joseph gets to Egypt and he is sold to Potiphar. Potiphar is um, kind of a, an important figure in Egypt. He is in charge of all the guards. Um, and so he um, takes Joseph in. Joseph is working and because Throughout this story, God is saying, Joseph, I am with you, I am with you, I am with you. Um, Potiphar's house gets blessed because of Joseph being there, and Joseph gets blessed as well, and is put in charge of many things in Potiphar's household. Uh, and then later later on for Joseph, he gets, he gets to meet Pharaoh, and he shares about Pharaoh's dream, interprets it for him, and he gets an even bigger raise, we'll say. He gets in, he's put in charge of an even bigger uh, responsibility we'll say so now he's a figure a very important figure in Egypt uh, before he was almost murdered by his brothers and then he was sold as a slave he gets to Egypt and then now he's a very important figure uh, and so here's where redemption comes in for this throughout this story God says to him I am with you I am with you I am with you and you can see that he was totally betrayed by his own family um, and for some of us maybe that's happened maybe with our family or maybe it's happened with friends 
um, but God blesses him through that betrayal. Um, and so here's the other part, kind of the flip side. We would think that his brothers uh, would, you know, they're bad people, they're sinful people. They're not, like there's nothing good that can come for their brothers because they sold their own brother into slavery. Well, we read later on, closer to chapter, chapter 50, that they actually get redemption from their brother. Now Joseph puts them through a series of tests um, and calls them spies, um, but later he ends up giving them forgiveness and they are reconciled back into a good relationship and, and actually I'm sure from there they get to know the Lord and just amazing things came from that so you have a twofold here uh, of redemption a story of redemption one for Joseph being blessed by the Lord and then him blessing his own brothers who betrayed him um, okay so you guys now have the story of Joseph very quick um, just some background, and so what I want you to do, and here's a challenge for you, I have four questions, okay? And we've done this with our upper school before, it's called a Discovery Bible Study. Um, so you can do this on your own time as a personal study, or if you're with your family and you would like your parents to, to be involved or for them to lead it, here are the four questions, okay? Number one, and anybody can ask these questions, okay? So number one, what do you like most about the story of Joseph? That's number one. Number two, what challenges you most about the story of Joseph? Is it uh, him forgiving his brothers? Is it Joseph still believing that God is with him even though all these bad things are happening to him? Um, that's question number two. Number three, what do we or what do you learn about people? What do, what do you learn about us through the story of Joseph? And number four, what do you learn about God the story of Joseph and like I said um, anyone can ask these questions to the group or like I said if you're studying it yourself you can ask it to yourself you can journal it you can just you know say it to yourself what have you um, but this is a great story a great um, truth about God's love for us and him never leaving us um, even when we do something wrong as Joseph's brothers did or even when we're going through crazy hard times like Joseph went through. So I hope this encourages you. I'd love to get some feedback to hear um, how this story did encourage you or how it challenged you. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Let me, let me finish by praying and we'll see you soon. Lord, thank you for the story of Joseph once again. And God, we just pray that uh, through his story of redemption and his brother's story of redemption, Lord, that we would also believe that there's redemption for us, that we are not too far gone um, and there is forgiveness for us. Lord, I pray that we would believe that you are always with us regardless of our circumstances. Um, and Lord, we love you. We pray that you continue to, to be here with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.